guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you guys how to install a pre-plucked ready to go braided wig from asteria this is a 24 inch straight wig um this is a seven by four i believe and yeah it's already braided it's already pre-plucked it looks so freaking good this is going to be pretty easy to put on and the knots are already bleached and everything else so yeah let's get started so to get started all right <laughs> The way that this lace blends into your scalp is amazing. Um, as y'all can see, I ran the comb and, tried, and did it underneath the wig. And you can even tell that it's there. I love this wig so much. To, like I said, the knots are already pre-bleached. So, like, this is about to be super, super duper easy. You have my ball cap on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to fit the um, wig on my head and then I'm gonna take my even, 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 I don't know how to say it, my lace milk spray. And I'm going to put a little bit on my finger and then put it on the lace. And then after that, I'm going to do my baby hairs. The baby hairs already came pre-done. So the baby hairs are already, you know, ready to go. So I just put even spray on that and I am literally just uh, brushing my edges back and then now working on these baby hairs the key to having good baby hairs when it comes to like having a lace frontal is to me personally i feel like using mousse right now i'm using my even my even wig spray my glue spray but i rather use mousse but either or would do they both work just fine i just like mousse because it gives it a softer look but this is just doing just as fine i love these edges i love this wig Now, after that, I'm taking a blow dryer and putting it on low heat. And I'm just blow drying where I put the spray and everything else just to, you know, let it sit up in there. And then I'm going to take my wig band and wrap my wig band on. And I usually let my wig band sit for like 20 minutes. But this time, um, you didn't really, like I said, you didn't have to do much to this wig at all. This wig came pre-done, basically. But I let this sit for probably like no more than five minutes. Mm-hmm. 
Then we're going to take this hot comb and we're going to get it as flat as possible. The key to a great, great, great wig install is obviously your foundation, which is your braids, like making your braids flat. But another key is making sure it don't look like a helmet. So you're taking that hot comb and burning your scalp a little bit and putting it up on there so you can get you a real flat, nice wig, baby. Now I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm basically just going through everything. I like for my wigs to be bone, 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 bone straight. So I'm taking my flat iron and I am going over the hair. I'm making sure I get the back, get the middle, get underneath my neck, get the sides. I'm making sure I get everything and get everything bone straight for y'all. <laughs> And now I'm just really just taking my comb and just going over it with the flat iron to make sure, like I said, I get everything bone straight. This is the finished product of this wig. I really love this wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this install video and learned a lot from it. Um, to shop this look, make sure you guys click in the description box down below. The hair is from Asteria Hair and all of their information and social medias will be down below.